Welcome back to Design With Me. I'm so excited this week to be doing something a little bit different. I thought we would do a checklist, but a checklist for kids that are going off to school. Because I mean, I have kids that are in school. It's an awesome trending product. It's selling really well on Etsy at the moment. And it'll just be a lot of fun because we can use some great kids sort of friendly graphics. So I have actually pre-written out of my content, but I used AI to actually generate it. So this is ChatGPT. And the prompt that I used was, please write me a checklist for children for before school, after school and evening. So you can see it will just go through. It's going to dot point everything. You can see like wake up at the designated time, use the bathroom. It's a little bit formal, so I would definitely recommend using it as a starting point and going through and tweaking it a little bit. But it is an amazing tool to sort of not start with a blank, like a completely blank page. So let's jump into Canva. I can't wait to get started. Now this is Canva. We're gonna go up to create a design. We're gonna go custom size, change it to inches. We're going to go 8.5 by 11, which is US letter size, create a new design. So we'll start with a header. So we'll do um, school day, children's checklist. Now a beautiful, I do like pop-ins, but I think I might use something a little bit more stylized. So I do like Josephine Sands bot. I think it's really, really cool for anything which is kid related. We'll make this one a little bit smaller. So we might even delete children because I don't think kids really want it to say children's checklist. So we'll just have school day checklist at the top. I think that will be super, Good. Now I'm going to, because it will only be from Monday to Friday. So we'll write out all the days of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, and these will be our little check boxes. Now let's, we're roughly just gonna put it all in and then we're gonna really go through and make sure it fits properly. So we wanna have our uh, three separate headings as well. So we want before school, so that will be the first one. Uh, after school and evening. Beautiful, and I'm going to change these to be uh, left aligned and I'm going to make sure that they're all beautifully lined up. I'm just gonna roughly put it in there. Now I've got different numbers of dot points for all of them. So I'm just gonna quickly take off all the numbers and then I'm gonna copy and paste these in. I'm going to make it nine point. So um, you don't wanna go smaller than eight point whenever you're laying out text because that's, um, eight point is probably the smallest you can go with it still being really easily re readable. But because this is for kids, we can go a little bit bigger uh, we'll go back and get after school. So we've got six there. Oh, didn't remove the numbers. So I'll pop that one in there. And then we've got seven on the last one. Lovely. So we do have room to make this a little bit bigger, which is really cool. I'm also going to want to really space out the lines because we're going to have tick boxes. So we need lots and lots of space between all of the lines. So we'll see, I think it'll still fit at about that, which is good. And then we can go a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll reduce the line spacing now. Let's see if we can get this to fit. I think it's a little bit too big. So we'll select everything and we'll just sort of drop down the line spacing a little bit. Just a touch more, beautiful. All right, so now we can sort of space these out. They're not going to be even because there's different ones on each sort of checklist but I think that that is looking fairly spaced out, which is good. I do feel like we need a little bit more space though. So I'm gonna just reduce this line spacing a touch more. Lovely. So that's looking really good. I'm just gonna go through and make sure I've taken off all of the full stops on these as well, because we want them to be consistent. So either all in with full stops on all of them or take them off. You don't want to mix. 
Okay, lovely. So the next thing we're going to do is create our beautiful little checkboxes. So let's go into elements and we're going to use a square. We're just going to reduce this to sort of fit this line here, which that should fit. And then we're going to space it out one under each of those weekdays. So that's looking quite good. I, it's not perfectly sort of laid out. So I'm going to select all of these squares. I'm going to go over to position and I'm going to hit tidy up and just make sure everything is evenly spaced and then make sure that these letters are sitting perfectly centered above those blocks. So I kind of feel like these blocks could be like uh, rectangles. I think that'll just fill the space a little bit better. Now I'm going to move everything over here just a touch because I want to leave a little bit of space down here for some beautiful icons. So now I'm going to select all of these. I'm just going to go position, tidy up again. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to duplicate that on my keyboard. I'm holding Alt and Shift and that just allows me to duplicate it, which is an easy way to copy. So we've got that looking good. Now we can go through and we can just copy this whole thing down here. Delete the ones that we don't need. And copy this one. Looking good. All right, so I'm just gonna double check that we've got, yep, it's all lined up, which is perfect. Now let's just space this, because this word coat here, it's a little bit too close. So that looks perfect. Now I want to also create like different colors for each section as well, just so it's really cute, uh, clear for children, which one is before or after and evening. So I'm gonna adjust this to be all caps, space out the letters. I'm going to make it, we'll make this one. I've got some beautiful pastel colors in one of my saved color palettes. So I'm gonna go beautiful. So I might do blue for this one. I'm just going to delete that. We'll bring this down as well so it's repeated. Ah, lovely. So we'll duplicate this and then we'll change this to before school. Um, we will change this one to maybe, let's do like a mint green. I think that looks good. Um, we're not doing something which is specifically for a certain gender. So um, I think keeping the colors like sort of a rainbow neutral is good. Evening. But I mean, it's a really easy product to do a variation for girls and a variation for boys as well. So we might do purple for evening. Okay, lovely. Now I'm just going to move these over a little bit just so they like the text actually lines up with the text in the header. Lovely. I'm just going to adjust the letter spacing a touch. Okay, that's looking really, really good. I'm really happy with how it's sort of coming along. So the next part for me, now that we've sort of fleshed out exactly what's going in, um, in terms of content, we want to add some graphics and make it really fun because it is for kids. So if you are part of Template Creator Society or Passive Income Society, you will as always get this full template. And we are going to be giving you a new pack of clip art as well, which is these beautiful watercolors. So they're amazing to use on like a checklist, which is timed because it's based around time. Like we've got some beautiful like um, clouds, we've got some clocks, we've got some calendars, lots and lots of goodies in those. So those will be added to the portal as well and also pinned to the top of the group. So let's start with a sun because that symbolizes morning quite well. Then we'll add a cute little moon for evening. And then we might, how's this one look? It's like sort of in between the two. So I think it works quite well. Okay, lovely. Um, and in the top, we're also going to, what I want to do is just change this to have some different colors on each of the letters. So we can do that by selecting them. So we'll do green, blue, purple, Now I feel like the black's a little bit harsh, so I'm going to change it to like a 
charcoaly color instead. So it's a little bit lighter. I just hit change all, so it's changed it across the whole document, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna make this one a touch lighter as well. Lovely. Now let's add in some beautiful graphics in the top. So we've got like a cute little clock. So I think that's quite cute. And we might add some clouds just to match that sort of weathery look. I think that's cute. We might add some more clouds down the side as well, just for a little bit of extra color. So I've got some clouds. This one here is quite cute and colorful. Okay, lovely. It's looking good. Just wanna make sure this is centered. We can do it a little bit bigger as well. So I'm happy with how that's looking. We might add in some extra flowers as well. So we've got some beautiful flowers that match this pack. So we'll add some flowers down the side. Lovely. So we might nudge those up a little bit. We're going to flip it so that it kind of alternates and looks like different flowers. I think that'll be cool. So happy with how that's going. We might also just to differentiate these icons a little bit, add like a little bit more Maybe like a row down here or something in a really pale gray. Maybe let's see if we can use this shade of gray, but we'll make it a lot lighter. And then we can nudge down this sun. Using gray as kind of like a really subtle guide can be amazing sometimes because it's not overwhelming, but it can just add that little bit of extra structure that sometimes we need. I think that's looking quite good. We'll just adjust this a little bit. I actually kind of like it popping out of the gray a little bit as well. I think it's lovely. We've got the moon as well. Then we can put these clouds and flowers sort of behind those gray boxes as well. So we'll send those to the back. Actually, I think we I changed the opacity of these. Yes, we did. So we're actually going to go through and we're going to adjust this to be a super light gray instead, just so it's solid. And then we can put it over those elements. Now I'm going to use the copy style to apply it to the other graphics just down here. We can also use our color palette just at the top. Now let's try sending these to the back. Hopefully that works a little bit better. Where have why has this gone down? Oh, the transparency is still there. So I've popped that back up. Okay. It's still looking just like a little touch empty for me. So I want to make sure that it's feeling nice and full. And I think the problem is that we're missing something just down here. So what we might do is just repeat this title. We'll center it. Go after. We'll go the evening. Just so we get those two matching lines. And we'll change that to be the evening as well. Okay. So I'm just going to adjust this to be like a darker grey. I think that is looking quite good. We might actually change this gray to be like a variation of the light colors and just see if that makes it a little bit more cohesive, which I think that's working really well, actually. Lovely. Yes, that looks good. Okay, so we'll adjust this as well, just to extend a little bit. That one as well. So sometimes you just need like a little bit of extra space in areas, which is what I'm just adding in now. Just making sure things aren't too close to each other's edge. I feel like that blue could be a touch lighter. This purple could be a touch lighter. Okay, lovely. So, I think that can be a little bit smaller. We might put a little sun over here behind the clouds. 
might add a little bit of extra floral just down the side just to make sure everything's perfectly balanced. Beautiful. I feel like that's looking a lot better. I just want to see what this looks like in grey. Yeah, I think it looks much better in grey rather than the individual rainbow words just because I think there's just so much going on. And for me, it was just like, oh, too much going on. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm going to see if I can just adjust this to be. Because now that we have these boxes here, we can make it a little bit bigger to go behind without it sort of taking over the text, which is a nice effect. Okay. I like how that's looking. We might add some more just over here. Beautiful. And for me, this isn't looking perfectly centered and it wasn't. So that's what the issue was there. So they're very little tweaks, but they make a big difference, especially when we're dealing with something which is quite minimal as well. So you really have to look at your typography, your spacing, the way you're placing things. You don't want it to be too busy, but you don't want it to be boring either. So um, for me, this is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's been amazing to be here with you again, designing. It's always a lot of fun. So again, if you are in the memberships, I'll go and pop this template up now for you along with the clip art pack so you can go and create your own checklist. Have a wonderful weekend. And yeah, we'll talk soon. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now. Bye.